Oh, my fence is rank. It smells to heaven. It hath the primal, eldest curse upon it. A brother's murder. Pray can I not. Though inclination be as sharp as will, my stronger guilt defeats my strong intent, and like a man to double business bound, I stand in pause where I shall first begin in both neglect. What if this cursed hand were thicker than itself with brother's blood? Is there not rain enough in the sweet heavens to wash it white as snow? And where too serves mercy but to confront the visage of offense? And what's in prayer? But this twofold force, to be forestalled, ere we come to fall, or pardoned being down. Then I look up, my fault is past. But oh, what form of prayer can serve my turn? Forgive me my foul murder? That cannot be, as I am still possessed of those effects for which I did the murder, my crown, my own ambition, and my queen. May one be pardoned and retain the offense? In the corrupted currents of this world, offense's gilded hand may shove by justice, and after seeing the wicked prize itself, buys out the law. But tis not so above. There is no shuffling. There the action lies in his true nature, and we ourselves are, are compelled, even to the teeth and forehead of our faults to give in evidence. What then? What? What rests? Try what repentance can. What can it not? And yet, what can it? When one cannot repent, O oh, wretched state, O oh, bosom black as death, O oh, Limed soul that struggling to be free are more engaged. Oh, help, angels, make us say. Oh, bow, stubborn knees, and, and heart with strings of steel be soft as sinews of the newborn babe. All will be well. My words fly up, my thoughts remain below, words without thoughts never to heaven go.